Hey, what's up guys? It's Johnny from Johnny's Apparel. I'm um, just doing a quick video really quick to show you some of the things that I do when I'm uh, taping a shoe up to paint. So uh, it's not like the most glamorous thing, so I don't usually put it in my um, videos and sometimes I freehand. But if you're working with a more expensive shoe, uh, these are my first commission, so I obviously don't want to mess these up. If I'm restoring or if I know I'm gonna um, like hit the mid tops with some other color or something, I usually don't bother um, taping, but in this case, I want to keep these white and clean and brand new. So I'm going to show you how I go about taping them to keep them protected. So uh, what you're going to use is actually um, electrical tape. Um, and the reason is, is because it is a pretty good seal around the edge here. It's a pretty tight seal that you can lay down, but it also very easily comes off of the shoe if you want it to. So um, I've noticed that as I use some of these other tapes, like uh, the Scotch masking tape, which I do use a lot and I really, really love on the leather surfaces, on some of the, um, the rubbers on the sneakers, they will actually end up um, leaving like a residue. It has not happened on all the shoes, but a few of the shoes, some of the masking tape does. So. Um, the nice thing about the electrical tape is that it leaves zero residue at all. So what you want to do is you actually want to try and line up, I've already done some of it here, but you're going to line it in with this top crease here. There's like a little bit of a lip between, let's see if I can show you, yeah. It's like a little bit of a lip between the where the plastic sits and where the leather goes in there. And you want to line that tape up on top there and you can use your fingernail and you can guide it along there and then go ahead and press the rest of that tape down around as you go obviously the top part is the most important part because this is the part that is going to um, keep the paint from going down and hitting that white mid on your um, Air Jordans, or these are like the Court First Force Burrow 2 low tops, which are really similar to the Air Jordans. If you want to customize something for somebody, similar look as the Air Jordans, but um, uh, about $25 cheaper. So, love that. Um, so yeah, you, what you want to do is you're going to go all the way around here. You're welcome to um, cut the tape off if you feel like you're getting some tension around your particular pairs of shoes But this one has actually been very good with just uh, Keeping it around because you just want to keep laying down at the top Hugging it in there and then you're gonna take a tool and actually go around and make sure you tighten that edge along here so now that I'm back to the front, take my scissors here, I'm gonna cut these here. I'm gonna lay this tape down flat around here. And then I can use a couple different tools. This is actually from, um, a clay kit and it has a really nice um, woven edge to it and you can actually lay this down here it sounds like there's an alien rock show happening in the back this is what happens when you ask Alexa to play royalty free music you end up with somebody's like basement synth music <laughs> no offense to whoever made this but it's not the damn Alexa next song much better. So you're going to take this tool, you're just going to glide around the edge. You want to peek over and above and make sure you're pressing that electrical tape in against that edge. Some shoes you can, you don't want to separate the mids from the sole too much, but there's usually just a little bit of space and if you take um, like the back of your X-Acto knife, I use um, this Angelus X-Acto knife. So this is the cutting blade, but this um, top part of the blade is not sharp. So you can actually run that right along here too. And that gives it a really tight 
seal, which is really wonderful. Taping is definitely the least glamorous part of doing a pair of custom shoes, but I would say it's probably one of the hardest skills that I've been having to learn. So uh, that is how you do this, and then just to save some time, I'll show you the one I've already done. Here, I wrapped another layer around after I seal it up on top here, and then I took the masking tape and you put it all along the bottom here, and those are gonna be the very last things you take off from the shoe. You're obviously gonna take out the laces to keep those clean, and then if you have other parts of the shoe that you wanna tape over, like if you're not painting the swoosh or you wanna keep this background pure white, I definitely recommend. Um, this is the Scotch, I wanna say it's 2050. I probably made that number up. Where is it? It says on the inside here. 2060. Scotch 2060, it comes in different widths. This is a one and a half inch width. Uh, you can do a 0 0.5 or a one inch width, doesn't really matter, it depends on the shoes you're kind of using. Um, but those are really great to cover up section of this, and then you can use this X-Acto knife and you can cut around um, the edges that you need to open up to paint. Um, so that is how I tape shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and feel free to like, comment, subscribe, let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I've been doing my weekly one-offs and creating different one of the kind of creations. So check out Instagram and TikTok at johnny'sapparel.com. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. Take care.